The mass transport of LPG or liquefied petroleum gas is a crucial trade segment of the global shipping industry. The merchant vessels operating in this sector carry both a uniqueness of design as well as one of the highest risk category cargoes transported at sea. As a consequence, the personnel involved in the management of LPG vessels and the carriage, storage and handling of LPG cargoes require a commensurate level of knowledge in the particular safety and operational aspects of these vessels and cargoes to ensure the effective and efficient functioning of LPG tankers. This knowledge is born out of effective training in education and mastered by experience. The LPG gas simulation system is executive ship management's most recent investment in quality training and the Samundra Institute of Maritime Studies latest training innovation. The gas tanker simulation system embodies the spirit of this unique institution, one that is willing to take on new challenges dedicated to the spirit of learning with a sense of commitment that is unparalleled in the maritime industry. It is a measure of the organization's passion and demonstrates its ability as a training institution par excellence. The LPG gas tank simulation was delivered from concept to full mission system in just eight months. This fully refrigerated Type 2G system emulates that on board a trading vessel and is the first of its kind anywhere in the world. In the absence of the market providing LPG training that could meet ESM's exacting standards, SIMS gathered together an in-house team of special talent to take on the challenge of researching, designing and building a training facility like no other anywhere in the world. The project to develop the LPG tanker simulation had three distinctive development elements. The physical structure, the cargo control room and the interface and simulation. From the outset, the layout was planned to emulate the tanker of a gas vessel complete with piping from the tank dome to the reliquefaction plant, mast riser and manifold. The next step was the preparation of the 22 by 17 meters site next to the Maritime Sciences building. Meanwhile, the equipment from the recycling yard was chipped and sandblasted in preparation for refabrication. By March 2009, a compressor house had been fabricated to house the compressor and reliquefaction plant which also included a bulkhead partitioned electrical motor room where the drive to the compressor was facilitated. Further, this was fitted with a foyer space as a vapor lock unit which forced ventilation and exhaust systems to ensure the essential shipboard practices were not compromised even in the simulator training. The LPG compressor, Freon compressor and the reliquefaction plant were added during April and May. The final phase of construction involved the installation of new valves and a catwalk fabricated in situ section by section permitting inspection, monitoring and control of the mounted devices. The design brief for the CCR and console had been for a full mission simulation system which retained the look and feel of the cargo console setup as on merchant tanker vessels with the CCR overlooking the tank deck. Graphics, electronics and electrical systems were planned and executed to address the requirement for the monitoring and controlling of the cargo and ballast handling systems. Six individual trainee stations were built with each station operating as an individual ship. Central monitoring is effected from the instructor station for the purposes of the supervision of training evolutions and exercises. The final element of the LPG tanker simulation project was what we have referred to as breathing of life into the system. In other words, the interfacing of all physical controls, lamps, switches and relays with the software using a distributed control system based on intelligent data acquisition units. 
The Instruct Station software was developed to enable the pushing of scenario variables into student stations, all the while monitoring and controlling trainee activities. Finally, to support the utilization of this facility, new training modules have been developed for both operational and management levels. We are proud to state that the simulator has been certified by DNV as a Class A standard full mission simulator with the training courses complying with the DNV standard for certification of learning programs and IMO liquefied petroleum gas tanker cargo and ballast handling simulator courses. It is fully expected that the introduction of this facility into the SIMS curriculum will reap numerous rewards in respect of improved practices and lower operational risks at sea in the form of higher safety standards, better response to incidents and improved efficiency and effectiveness of cargo operations. The development team had indeed performed commendably. At the outset, developing a gas simulation system was considered a really crazy idea. But every now and then, you have to change the rules. At SIMS, we believe in pushing the limits, rewriting the methods and establishing a new road ahead.